Wana asifi. Mwadhan ya Goshu. Uh, my name is Nduta Wajugona and uh, I love Jesus. Uh, for me, it's been quite interesting because I have never ever been a Bible reader. I only listen to the Bible when it's being read in front here and that is it and I'm done. But when I joined this class, I joined last year in February. I am one of those people who started uh, last year and interestingly, I have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I have repeated, I'm now again in Judges. And I have found myself, it's become a habit that even when I'm going home to my mother's home, I carry my Bible, something I never used to do. When I'm, go I'm going to the salon to make my hair, I carry my Bible and I find it not very usual, but it's become a habit. But the most interesting bit about it, apart from re uh, reading the Bible consistently, I got, there are some things that I got to really think about that before they just used to pass. For example, forgiveness. For me, it was just a word like any other. But after reading the Bible, I realized that this word forgiving, forgiveness, forgive, is appearing so many times in the Bible. And I really called myself for a meeting in my tent. And, uh, and I want to be very honest. I'm a very honest person. There is this neighbor who we never used to talk to each other for reasons that I don't know. And I sat back and I'm like, why don't we talk to each other? If Jesus died for my sins, why should shouldn't I forgive? And one day, and she comes to this church, and she, if she's watching, she should hear this, because I can't see her here. So I felt like, I felt very convicted and inclined to go to her and say sorry. And you know, it's not easy to say sorry. And I walked out of this church when I saw her leaving, and I followed her. And I called her name, and she looked at me, and I was like, I, I just wanted to request you to forgive me for, I don't, actually I don't even know what I did, but I told her for whatever reason that it is that you don't talk to me, that we don't talk to each other, kindly forgive me. And I'm begging you, I am very sorry. Guess what? She left me standing there and walked away. But let me tell you, I am at so much peace because I know I did what God would have wanted me to do. And so for me, this Bible reading, it's not just a habit of reading the Bible like a storybook. It has also some other benefits. benefits. So that is me. Um, and I thank God for the teachers. And um, I hope that we could have more people doing this class. I'm feeling like I'll go back and do it again. Because <laughs> it's really, it has really moved me. From, it has changed me from the person I was to the person I am. And my mother... Uh, in February, we lost a niece, and when we went home, the people of the church came, from the church came and they preached, and I was given a chance to talk, and I talked and preached for once in my life, and my mother was like, you know you, it's like you were born again 30 years ago. I was born again in 2019, so that is the impact of the CBR. Thank you.